Hello and welcome to a DITV Sports Update. I'm Mike Wollen reporting from Indianapolis at the Big Ten Tournament. After trading jabs in the regular season with Minnesota, the Iowa Hawkeyes looked for the knockout punch that would allow them to play another day. The Hawks would have their hands full with stud guard Vincent Greer, but Iowa had an answer of their own with a guard, his name, Jeff Horner. Let's now send it to DITV's Jason Epner with the highlights. Survive and advance, that's what the Hawkeyes trying to do in this tournament, trying to get a little revenge on Minnesota from last time. And they get off to a great start in the rubber match. Hansen takes a strong and the foul, and then Horner hits the long three. Jeff would have six threes on the night, a big, big game for Jeff. But Vincent Greer takes it strong to the hole, trying to keep Minnesota in it. And then Horner went off. Horner hits the runner in the lane, then gets the pass, knocks down another three. And how about a third? Jeff from deep, and he knocks down the three. And the Hawkeyes explode to a 25-16 to lead. And then alley-oop Doug Thomas. It seems like Doug Thomas has had a huge dunk in just about every game. Let's take a look at the replay as Dougie skies and throws it down. Hawkeyes up big, and then Horner hits his fourth three of the half. Jeff, 26 points on the night. Big, big game for Horner. But Minnesota would put together a little run at the end of the half. Adam Boone hits the deep three, and then Zach Pucktell picks up the ball, scores it, and suddenly the game is tied at 30 going into the half. Second half, Hawks get off to a nice start. Bruner tiptoes the baseline and throws it down. And now pay attention to this next field goal. Jason Stamper hits the jumper. It was the only field goal by the Golden Gophers from someone other than Vince, Vincent Greer in the second half. Now there's Greer the senior, Jeff Horner the senior for the Hawks, and they would just go at it. Here Horner pulls it from Terre Haute, Indiana and knocks it down. And Greer comes right back. Watch Vincent, a little cross on Aluska, pulls up from 17. He knocks it down. And then watch this dunk. Boom, all over Mike Henderson. I hate to say it, but Henderson just got posterized by Vincent Greer. Let's take another look. And, you know, as a Hawkeye fan, this is tough to see, but a third look shows you how great this dunk was by Greer. But Jeff Horner would respond. Here gets it, takes the fadeaway jumper in the lane and nails it. But Vincent Greer comes back with the floater over Thunder Doug for the score, but for every question, there's an answer. Horner deep, he knocks down the three, and the Hawkeyes take a 46 to 45 lead. And then Horner, the nice dish to Hansen who finishes it off. And then Mike Henderson, the cold-blooded dagger for three. Hawkeyes take a nine-point lead. They go on to win it, 67 to 57. Uh, we've always thought the Friday game favored uh, the team that got to play on Thursday because they were out here, and that was our nervousness. That was our uh, concern uh, just because of they, they played here, uh, they're comfortable here, and we're just now starting. And they had five seniors in the starting lineup, three of which were five-year guys. And um, I thought they did a tremendous job, and we were very fortunate to, uh, to grind out a win, but we ended up getting it with the way we've won a lot of games this year, and that's been with our defense. This team's not based around a couple guys. It's based around everybody. Uh, we have a, uh, we came together, especially in that second half. We're down four and uh, 11 minutes in the game, and we could have we could have buckled, uh, and but we stayed together and we fought through it. You know, today I was I was pretty good in warm ups and stuff, but um, you know, like I said uh, two years ago, I couldn't make a shot in this in this arena, so I wanted to come in and uh, you know really shoot the ball well. The Hawkeyes will battle Michigan State in the first semifinal game of the day. The nightcap will feature Ohio State versus Indiana. If somehow I was able to win, they will likely lock up the number three seed for the NCAA tournament. Reporting for DITV Sports from Indianapolis, I'm Mike Wollen.